Welcome to the Heart of Bastrop Talk Show. I'm TJ Finn with the Heart of Texas Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Connie Schrader, Mayor of the City of Bastrop. Fun show we have in store today. I am so excited because, you know, I love Christmas time. Me too. And I tell you, there's so many opportunities for Christmas shopping right here in Bastrop County. You don't have to go in and hassle with all that traffic in Austin. Unique, interesting ideas from art classes to to music, a guitar. records, vinyl guitar. Yeah, it's crazy. It's going to be so much fun. So we have uh, uh, Christine Huber here, and she's going to tell us about a unique opportunity to take some old classes. We had uh, Lippy. Everybody knows Lippy, Absolutely. and you can go dig through his crates. Absolutely. And then we have Gary Blake with Blake's Music Shop. Why don't we show him what we have in store? We're here with Christine Huber, and you are here to talk about the Central Texas Art Academy. Yes. I'm so excited. I bet there's a lot of people that don't even know we have Central Texas Art Academy right here in Bastrop. Oh, well, we are very new. We are taking enrollments at all times and classes in November and moving forward from there. We offer youth and adult classes. So you've had your first few classes, and I know that I hear things are going great. Yes. We are thrilled. We're thrilled with the turnout, and we're thrilled with the students' enthusiasm about it. So, um, TJ, I got a kick out of, for them, adults are 13 and older. I, I don't think I could have passed <laughs> well, they Well, they think that as an adult at 13, they think they're adults, so. <laughs> <laughs> Put a paintbrush in their hand, and they really chill out and become adults. There you <laughs> go. There, there you go. go. And what's the medium? Is it a certain medium that you're teaching, or well, is it all mediums? Or? This is why we have it divided into two groups. The youth, um, 12 and under, work with pastels, mm -hmm. and adults are oil painting. Gotcha. So, so, so no acrylic. No, we're not doing acrylic. This is specifically a very guided program mm -hmm. where you're going to do the fundamentals and you're going to have very, each individual step is going to be directed to learning a technique. And in oils, by the time you're done, you will have a portfolio that will get you, and for youth that are interested, we'll get them into any art academy that they're interested in, potentially mm -hmm. um, scholarship from what we know from the other academies that are available. And as an adult, it just will, it's like run with big, big dogs kind of change. I love it. That is fantastic. So what kind, what timing is it for the, for the 12 and under? For the 12 and under, it's an hour class, an hour and a half. And for adults, it's two and a half hour class. Okay. And what time of the day does that happen? We usually wait until after school. So for the youth, it's around five that we start. And for the adults, it's usually around 630. What a great thing, because, you know, there's a lot of kids that do soccer and football, but not everybody wants to do that kind of thing. And mm -hmm. how wonderful to have the energy of youth and be given that opportunity. Right. Absolutely. We do also offer a Sunday class for people that are too busy during the week. Wow. wow. Very accommodating. I, I've always wanted to be like the female Bob Ross, so... <laughs> We all love Bob. <laughs> yes, we do. That pretty little tree. Yeah. So where uh, is the studio? We are located in the Woodland Shopping Center, the 696 Highway 71 West, uh, with the Kyoto and Taco Cabana is kind of our landmark for people. Well, there you go. So Absolutely. let's see. I think what you're saying is you're providing an opportunity that all people can try out, whether they want to learn a skill or that maybe they've just always been interested in painting and you've got it where they can do it even if they're going to school it's conveniently located and you're going to help them have a portfolio when they're done absolutely and one of the other advantages that they have is we provide all of the materials for our students and it is the highest quality material on the market so that you are not struggling with inferior materials you're really truly learning the techniques in an environment that is just built for success if you put the work into it and what does it cost it is going to be $165 for the adult classes and $95 for the youth classes. Is that per class or for this? That's for the month. Wow. That's yeah, a good so it's a deal. month. So it's, it's reasonable. It's the same as any other sports activity that the children are involved in. Absolutely. Absolutely. Boy, you start pricing equipment and, and anything, right, and for that matter. And how many kids, you may have already told us, how many, kids, how many people will be in the different classes? We have 14 easels set up for each class. Wow. So, and you know, that's a great gift to give someone for Christmas. You know, with the holidays yes. coming, it really is. That's a <laughs> great is. thing. Someone who's interested in painting and, you know, never tried. Because I'll tell you, because I'm a painter 
and it, painting oil is much more difficult than grabbing some acrylic paint going to it but you know uh, the thing about oil paint is it will last i mean look you know we not leonardo da vinci's oil paints are still here right so you it, it lasts forever and it's a beautiful gift i'll never forget the first oil painting that i ever did i did a horse for my daughter and i thought it you know it was going to be like acrylic and it would dry right away no it took a year to draw, but it was absolutely beautiful. And when it was done, I was like, wow, I can't believe I did that. Okay, TJ, you need to take my class. I'm going to make oil painting so much easier for you than that. Oh, wow. Absolutely. It. Um, it, it does, it, there's kind of a mis, misnomer that oil painting can be difficult, and we're going to break it down to where it is so simple. I, I probably won't go back to painting in acrylics, as a matter of fact. Wow. This is, this is a game changer. Well, the other key ingredient that I heard was that it's top of the line oil painting. So um, I have learned the hard way. I will just admit that right now, the hard way that um, I have a, a good friend that says there's no such thing as bad weather. There's only bad clothing. Right. And, um, <laughs> you know, I didn't realize that I was really a better skier, snow skier than I thought when my husband made us rent better equipment. And it right. sounds like the painting yes. is the same sort of thing. Yes. You may be struggling and it may be because you aren't really using the best materials that are out there. We use old Holland paint, which is from the 1600s. The company has been around that long and wow. the quality speaks for itself. Wow. Sounds like you got yeah. a student headed your way. <laughs> yes, I, I'm really interested in that. Uh, you know, I, I'll i never forget when I was in college, and it sounds like when I was young, but I actually started college in fall of 2014. And that first semester, I had um, a humanities professor who uh, was also the art professor. And she said, um, you should take my art class. And I was like, you know, lady, you're really nice, but I can't even draw stick people. And she said to me, I'll never forget this. She said, but you know, I kind of know you're a math nerd, TJ. I can show you the math and the art. And I was like, yeah, okay, lady. But she was so nice. And I was like, okay, I'm going to take your art class. What does it matter if I look like a fool? Nobody's going to see it. And she did exactly what she said she was going to do. She showed me the art, the, the math and the art. And it has been an experience for me that just grew and grew and grew for that. And during the pandemic, I must have did 80 paintings. My hallway looks like a museum. I've got painting. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. But I loved it. And I, and I fell in love with that passion and and. And I know that it can be very therapeutic for people. It can yes. serve a lot of purposes. I'm really interested in art therapy and how that can help people. So I think what you're doing is amazing. And, and Mayor, I have to say, we find the most unique things right here in Bastrop County. And they're all right here. You don't have to go anywhere. They're right here for our residents to enjoy. So if somebody yeah. wants, you've given us some great information today. Mm -hmm. If somebody wants to check things out, do you have a Facebook page or a website? How do they find you? We actually have both. Um, the best way to get in contact with us is centraltexasartacademy.com. A lot of letters, but it's an easy name to remember. And then you can also follow us on Facebook. If you sign up at the website and put in your information, you will get an email from, for you. And that will tell us to reach out and offer you a free complimentary class to see if this is for you. A free complimentary well, class. You can't beat free, yeah. right? You know, you're either going to love it or not. Chances are, I think they're going to love it. <laughs> it's, it, is, it, it is a game changer. When I took the program and saw what a difference it made with my work, I knew I was very ready to bring this, the first opportunity I was presented wow. to. Because it will give children and adults just an expression in art that you've not had before. Um, it's very guided, it's very focused, and it requires hard work. But in the end, you're going to have the paintings that you want to give as gifts for Christmas. Love it. So. Excellent. Christine Huber with the Central Texas Art Academy. Make sure you look them up. Lippy Mobby, 
and Libby is with Astro Record Store, and it's a cool record store downtown. And tell people what you guys have to offer. So, uh, Astro Record Store, we offer the finest in crate digging, <laughs> <laughs> which is the art of buying vintage and collectible records. So, my store is full. I probably have over a hundred of these crates, and they're all full of vinyl of all kinds of shapes, sizes, and, and descriptions. So, and people come in, and they think they're coming in to look for something, but they always find something they didn't know they were looking for. So I think what happens is it's a trip down memory lane because I couldn't resist myself, and yes, Willie Nelson, pretty paper. What a, wow. This is a Christmas present that's already wrapped, right? Is <laughs> what we're talking about. Incredible. But TJ... Fleetwood Mac rumors. I mean, the memories just start overwhelming you. So oh, yeah. um, I think that that is such a cool gift to give to someone because so it may be memories they haven't thought about for a very long time. But as soon as you see the cover, I was telling yes. Libby, I can sing and I will spare everyone, but I could <laughs> sing every word of every song on this on this album. Right. Because that's how they were meant to be listened to on a vinyl album. Correct. And and this is probably my still my best selling record. Oh. The young people come in and they buy this record and the reason they're nostalgic is because, you know, these records are the soundtracks to our lives, right? Yes. Absolutely. You listen you listen to the record when you were young and then you can listen to it again when you're older and it makes you Remember being young again is lovely, right? Yes. So I have to tell you guys a story. TJ, you may, this may not surprise you, but Libby has not heard this story. When I was young, I wanted to buy an album, and my father said that is a very bad investment because you like a song this week, and next week you won't like the song anymore. That's why you have a radio. You can listen to a radio for free. So it just kind of got ingrained in me. I'm not allowed to buy records. Well, it turns out... Uh, he left, life goes on, and I found out I really do still like Fleetwood Mac. It's, right. you know, now 50 years later, and I still like Fleetwood Mac. So I think there are some albums that everyone should own. Absolutely. Fleetwood Mac Rumors, Carol King's Tapestry, mm -hmm. Michael Jackson's Thriller. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but you got to have Michael Jackson's yes. Thriller. That's fine. And, and, and the Beatles' White Album. Yep, so I have a white album in here. And the thing about, and then we have, you know, so so I, if you go through the most popular records, wow. yeah. both, both, both in retrospect and today, there's two things about them. Not as impressive of a Christmas present, but if when you know what's inside, you're extremely impressed. Yeah, but so, so you say, so this is the other beauty of, of albums, is that they're these fantastic artifacts as yes. well. They're not just... They're not just vehicles for music. They're, they're just great, lovely things to own. And the thing about this album is it's completely blank on the outside, except this is a numbered original. So the first million had a sequential number on them. Uh, but the beauty of this record, and you can only get this from a vinyl copy, is that it comes with... If I can get it out, <laughs> it comes with all this cool stuff. Uh, wow. So you got your you got your favorite Beatles there. So, wow. And I'll yeah. And we all have a favorite. Wow. Who's your favorite Beatle? John Lennon. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say John Lennon. <laughs> <Mine> <laughs> the correct answer Mine is John too. Lennon. Sorry, Paul McCartney <laughs> fans and George Harrison <laughs> fans <laughs> and Ringo fans. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to add one. Eagles Hotel California. Oh, yes, yes. Eagles Hotel California. The other thing, all of these really popular, all, all of those records that you mentioned are still popular today. Oh, it's because they're fantastic music. Yeah. And they're all incredibly well recorded. Right. And they sound so much better in the original format for which they were produced. They were made to be listened to on vinyl. And when you listen to them on vinyl, they sound so much better than a digital streaming. And you get to read the words and you get to on. touch it and look at it yes and go incredible man see i can't believe no one ever put this poster wow, up wow look at that <laughs> yeah, wow. Some holes in it so yeah so yeah you get all these goodies and a, and a lot of them come with goodies and you know you can even you can buy record players at walmart it's not like record players are not available anymore right oh absolutely they're, they're, it's, do you it's have actually, some at the store i do not i do not sell uh record players because 
the, the thing about the record player is you don't really need an old one. Right. You want what you want. You want a vintage amplifier. That's the main thing. But the the, the turntables and the speakers, the technology hasn't changed. No, and they're available at Walmart. I saw one yeah. of those Walmart yeah. the other day. And you can get them. Uh, yeah, you can get them. You can get them at all different levels and standards of quality. But I would recommend investing in a really good one. Right. Because right. the better they are, the better it sounds. Well, you got Amazon too. If you know, yes, absolutely. Local, but you know something. Libby, you do you buy on. records? I do buy records. I uh, that's how I get them. The the hardest part of me selling a copy of Rumors is, is buying it in the first place <laughs> because everybody wants this, right? Yes. Everybody wants most of what I buy. And so, yeah, buying them and, and that's that's a way that I get support from people. So I get a great deal of support from people in Bastrop. And a lot of people, if they don't have a record player, will sell me their records so, so they can contribute to my success. Okay. And, and a lot of times, people like yourself who no longer have a record player, but you were saying that you, you know, you, oh, I could buy that for my daughter. Oh, yes. And, uh, and people yes. do that I have too. A, I have a son that does, spends his life savings on music. But, you know, as it is really, truly taking me down memory lane because you got to have Willie Nelson's Redheaded Stranger. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. I, see, I don't classic. have that in the store right now. But, uh, but it's because I sell it. <laughs> <laughs> somebody came to you and said I'm looking for their specific album you would look for it for them would you? oh absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. I so love that. yeah and I do a weekly posting of about all so so people ask me they say do you sell online and I say well not really I sell a sort of hybrid version of online and and what happens with with uh, my significant other who does all my in, all my internet stuff for me. And she she's will, quite lovely. Too. Yeah, she is. Very lovely. She's lovely and kind and talented. And she posts probably about 60 albums a week on Instagram. Wow. And then people come in and buy them. So it's a sort of hybrid online, but they still get the... But they the, know it's there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they come in and then and then they find something else too. So you're the, right there on Main Street. I am. You've moved around a couple times, but yes. tell people where they can find you now. Okay, so I'm at 910 Main Street, and that's in downtown, lovely downtown Bastrop. And, uh, and the name, in case anybody wanted to know about it, is... Astro. Astro yes. Records, and I am in the middle of Bastrop. You can take the B and the P off the There the you go. Oh, I love that. You're in love with Astro. I didn't know And where, that. what are your hours? My hours are, I'm open from 10 till 6 every day, except Fridays and Saturdays. We're open at 8 o'clock. We usually have some beer and music on a Friday or a Saturday. And then I'm closed on Mondays. Uh, but the rest of the time I'm there. And it's excellent. It. Yes. Yes. Well, it's a cool story. I know you've been. Oh yeah, it's a very cool it's a really store. Cool. And you guys are right next to the bookstore, so it's it's perfect. Yeah. And 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 another another thing is uh, with Christmas coming up, I also do gift certificates. So, oh, which is a great cool. way where if you want to buy somebody a record but you're not sure what they got or what they would really like. Give them a gift certificate and they can come back and find love something it. they love. That's well, one of the things local. they talk about with shopping these days is, is experiential shopping. That Absolutely. people want the experience. Yeah. And so if you give them the gift certificate, they can come. It's, it's an experience to dig through. It is. It, dig through, is that the problem? Yes, dig. Stroll yes. through. No, no, dig. Dig, dig. Yeah, right dig through dig. the crates. <laughs> yes. Find the special memory. Visiting with you. Visiting with other people that share the same love for albums. It, yeah, absolutely it really right. It can be a neat you're, experience. You've got, you're, that's the key. I, I don't sell records. I sell the experience of finding a record you didn't know you wanted or you didn't realize I had. So. And, you know, records are so cool. Like you were saying, some of them have posters, some of them have the words. And just the, I mean, I know people that buy records just because they want the album cover. Right? Oh, absolutely. There, yes. there are the work. records. Yes. Yeah, it's sure. the art of it. It's yeah. one of those rare collectible things where it's not just the item, like a baseball card or, or, or a car or something. It's also a thing you can... You can use, and, right. it's, and, it, and it's the best format. It sounds better on the record. This is really the ideal way to listen to music. Absolutely. I was at a friend's house out in Nashville, and he has a wall that is nothing but album covers. And I was like, well, that's really cool. You know, what a great way to, you know, what he did is he put soundproof material on the back of it to soundproof his studio wall and the album covers on the front. And I was like, that's brilliant. And, and I was like, well, 
well, what's in them? And he was like, well, the records are still in them. So he's got the <laughs> records hanging on the wall, and it's amazing looking. It's really cool. I know people to buy two copies, one to put on the wall and one what to put in their collection. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you for coming. Oh, thanks for having me. Can't wait to come dig through the crates. Right, yeah, come on down. Okay, thank you very much for having me. Thank you. here with Gary Blake of Blake Music Shop, another great shopping opportunity for Christmas time right on Main Street. Right on Main What's Street. What's your address? I'm at 1112 uh, Main Street, uh, right across from, say, the Bastrop Academy of Music, the Big Red Barn. And I know TJ has likes to go Christmas shopping in your music store. I love to go shopping every day yeah, in she, Gary's music store. She doesn't wait till Christmas. <laughs> there so, you go. Um, she's she's a, a, another happy customer because yes. I take someone um, who doesn't necessarily know what they want um, and, and the story I tell and maybe people get tired of hearing it but my job is not to sell people the most expensive thing on the wall my job is to figure out what they're trying to accomplish and get the correct instrument in their hands and I think that makes a difference between um, someone who realizes they they pay too much for something and people who actually find an instrument they love and then they'll keep creating music so I think that's my job that Absolutely. is you know, I bought more than a dozen uh, guitars from for me I think in the last what three or four months but each guitar is so different each one does something very different you think of oh a guitar is a guitar and that is not true you know I'm uh, my personally myself I have my electric my acoustic electric mm -hmm. and then my classical guitar classical, yeah. and I love them each one sounds different each one feels different and of course I'm taking lessons with Todd Roth who works yeah. for you at the store and you know Todd's incredible with coming up muddy and so it's like a one-stop shop you can not only sell me a guitar and teach me how to play one right <laughs> exactly that's that's the whole package um, we we have a, a huge selection of instruments uh, we also offer lessons and stuff through Todd and through other artists in the area that teach um, we do a lot of repairs mm -hmm. um, again we I just told you we have a, a, a guitar ready for my him. little Liam for yeah. Christmas. And, and he's going to enjoy that. Because he doesn't know. Don't watch this show. <laughs> but, um, he, he got his uh, ukulele. Ukulele. He loved that ukulele. He said, this is awesome. Yeah. He, <laughs> he sent me a video. It. And yeah, the smile so on his cute. face kind of just makes it worth it. Anytime you can get an instrument in a, in a kid's hand or some, anyone who's starting um, picking up music from scratch, um, that's a good thing because we know that, that people can pick up worse hobbies. Uh, kids can be you know, into other things. Um, music is a great thing for them to pick up and because it's in form of expression. Absolutely. And it's a great way to, for them to figure out how to express themselves and to deal with emotions or what have you. Okay, so, well you've talked everybody into wanting to go shopping. What are, what are your hours and what days are you open? Uh, I'm open Wednesday through Sunday, 11 to 6. Um, I do stay open uh, sometimes on weekends, or certainly if someone uh, is rushing to get there. I have a lot of musicians on, on weekends when they're gigging. You know, I can't get there by six, so I'll be there as quick as I can. I'm not gonna close, I'm gonna be there. We're, we're here to support the musicians. So uh, again, Wednesday through Sunday, 11 to six, uh, holidays, uh, we open Christmas Eve. Um, we do have gift cards. Uh, I remember um, hearing about gift cards and we have those for those who don't really know exactly what they want to get for someone else, they can get a gift card. So. I love that you can shop local even if you don't know what you're buying just buy the gift card That's absolutely and it gives people know. an opportunity you know as mayor I am very partial to downtown Bastrop but we talked with Libby you can listen to music and decide that you want to learn how to play it then make that music and you can come down to Gary's and he'll help, he'll help you out exactly absolutely. I'm gonna do what I can to support local um, whether it's my shop or anyone else's because I believe in Bastrop I believe um, I have a lot of customers. I know I have a lot of customers who tell me they, they love the fact that what we have in Bastrop and a music store and, and whether it's you know Astro Records or what have you. Because sometimes, and no disrespect, but sometimes they'll do anything to avoid going to Austin. Oh, and I absolutely. love it because we have so much to offer here. There's yes. almost nothing that you can't get 
right, here right here. Yeah. And that's absolutely the goal. It, the Austin and the traffic, and it's an hour away, and you're exhausted. So we like the fact that right here in Bastrop County, whether you're in Bastrop, Elgin, or Smithville, you know that you're going to be able to find some neat gifts, get yeah. something good to eat, do some shopping. And I love the idea of the gift certificate because it may give somebody an interest and they don't know what all they would be interested in trying out. A ukulele. Right. right. The ukulele. He's got a whole selection of ukulele. And that is the coolest sounding instrument. Yeah. And you know, the funniest thing, I, I was so excited. I told Todd, I said, uh, when I first started my lessons, I, I went to an, another music shop and I found this book and, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get this book and I'm going to learn to play the guitar. And I got it and I was so excited to show Todd and he said, TJ, that's a ukulele book. And I said, what? No, it's a picture of guitar. He said, no, read it at the top. It says ukulele. <laughs> I said, but now I have a ukulele book to show Liam how to play once I figure it out. <laughs> well, see, those are things we're going to, believe it or not, as simplistic as it sounds, those are things we're going to take the time to explain to you. Because right. Just like musical instruments, someone may have in their mind, they saw something on a video online or what have you, I've got to have that instrument. That's not really the instrument you need. Um, it's easy to get caught up in that. Right. Um, I'm addicted to instrument buying, I'll have to admit, I am, because I want to try all these different things. And it's really not as expensive a habit as someone would think it would be, right? And so so I, I bought a uh, violin online, and I was like, you know, violins are beautiful. That is like the most beautiful music. And I don't know what they're doing different than I'm doing, but it don't make any noise. <laughs> to this you know birds to fly by and butterflies yeah. and my music but i'm like i'm doing this wrong i'm gonna have to bring this up to you gary i've been saying i was bring it up to you and let you take a look at it. it's either broke or i don't know what i'm doing i'm not sure or possibly <laughs> both gary that it, right it could be operator error we'll put it that way. Um, I mean, that's one of the things about musicians they really make it look easy and it's not it's a talent and and they've worked hard on their art yeah, Absolutely. Exactly. We've got Absolutely. some incredibly talented musicians in Bastrop. Yes. Uh, you go to any venue locally and, and watch some of these people expressing and playing their music live. Um, and you'll probably see them in my shop, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know when we did the Sizzling Summer Nights concert series, mm -hmm. all these bands that came in, national talent, they all went to Blake's oh, yeah. to buy us stuff and their equipment. They're like, yeah. We, so when, when Gary came out, they're like, oh, yeah, we met this guy at the music store. Yeah, they all knew him already. We get a lot of people. There's There are some national names that I, I, I probably won't mention, but there are some people on national and international tours who just come in my shop because they never know what they're going to find. I right. do a lot of consignment stuff. You never know, you know, when you might see a, a 66 Gretsch or something hanging on the wall. Right. I've got a lot of American guitars um, right now that, you know, Les Pauls and Stratocasters and, and basses and such. I'm an Ernie Ball dealer now, um, so I've got American-made Ernie Balls and such come in, and you never know what I have on my walls. So some of you may already know Gary, and you know he's a great, the Blake's Music Shop would be a great place to go for Christmas, and if you don't know Gary, I hope we've convinced you, you need to go meet him. Absolutely. Well, TJ, one more episode in the book. That's episode 13. You know what that means. I know. One more left. Episode 14 next Monday, and then we'll be done for the season. However, we do have a special episode coming up before the holidays all about the importance of mental health. And I'm so thankful that today we got to talk to Christine and Lippy and Gary, and there's some great things to find right here in Bastrop. Absolutely. And you do not want to miss an episode of the Heart of Bastrop talk show. So go online to theheartofbastrop.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys next week for the Christmas episode.